Hello, and welcome to our lesson on alternate and interior angles in parallel lines. Alternate angles appear within a z-shape in parallel lines. So angle A is equal to F, and D and the purple angle are also alternate. So D is equal to this angle, which we can call H. So D is equal to H. Interior angles appear within a C or an N shape. So angle F and the purple angle add up to 180 degrees. This is the interior angle property. D and A are also interior. So D and A again is equal to 180 degrees. Do you want to try and find the alternate and the interior angles in this diagram? By pause my video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we'll begin with the alternate angles. Angle R is in a Z shape with angle U. So R is equal to U. And we'll call the pink angle angle X. So angle X is alternate with angle T. And the interior angles are angle X and angle U. And they both add up to 180 degrees. And angle R is alternate with angle T. So R plus T is also equal to 180 degrees. Okay, let's use these two properties to solve some problems. Okay, in this question, we can see the 72 degree angle is in a Z shape with angle A. So 72 degrees is equal to angle A because these are alternate and therefore equal. And the 72 degree is interior with the angle B. So 72 plus angle B will equal 180 degrees. So angle B will be 108 degrees. We can check this works because angle A and angle B lie along a straight line. So A add B should be equal to 180 and 72 plus 108 does make the straight line. Okay, do you want to try and work out angle D, E and C in this diagram? by pausing my video and you can resume it when you're ready. We can see angle C and the 124 degree angle are vertically opposite. So C will equal 124 degrees. Angle C and angle D are alternate. So D will also be equal to 124 degrees. And finally, we can see angle E and angle C are interior. So E will be 180 degrees minus 124. E will be 56 degrees. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay, in this question, do you want to try and work out angle F using alternate and interior angle properties? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So the key to this question was to draw a third parallel line which crosses through this point here. And now we have two pairs of alternate angles. So this angle is equal to 54 degrees and the other part of angle F is alternate with the 21 degree angle. So angle F is made up of a 54 and a 21 degree angle. So angle F is 75 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.